What's going on, people? Mike C. Town here. So, this video is a long time coming. Um, I'm actually surprised that no one else has already done a video talking about Ascension Monuments media. Um, some of you guys take a shit with too many peanuts in it, and you immediately run to the internet to tell everybody about it. But anyway, I'm doing this because I feel like there are people who need to know what's been going on here. And there are still some people who are supporting this label. And there's also people who don't know what's been going on with these guys and haven't taken the proper precautions to get their money back for the product that they paid for that they are surely not going to get. And even though a bunch of you guys have asked me to make a video on this, the reason it's taken me this long to talk about these guys is because I was waiting until I either got the last two records I ordered from them or my money back for those records. And since that has finally happened, I am free to talk about this shit. So let's start from the beginning. By no means will this be a comprehensive video on everything that's happened with these guys. You can go do a Google search on that if you want to, but Ascension Monuments Media is a record label out of California that despite the lies that were being spread, is run by Blake Judd. And Blake Judd you'll know uh, from Knock Mystium, the band, uh, as well as, you know, a few other things like ripping off tons of people by taking their money for shirts, uh, records, etc., and not sending the product and not refunding them. Uh, it turns out he was doing this because he had a very serious drug problem, and I don't really need to comment much on that. That part is really none of my business. Uh, he did admit that he was stealing the money in order to feed his addiction, but I'm not here to publicly shame people who have drug addictions. Uh, the act of being an addict is different from the act of stealing from people, even though you know, we can say that one almost always leads to the other. Anyways, he was basically ousted from the metal scene and he disappeared. Uh, from what I'm told, he went into rehab. I don't know that for a fact, and again, that's none of my business. Well, a few years ago, a label popped up saying that they were releasing some Leviathan records and they put up pre-orders. After that, they claimed that they had gotten the rights to a bunch of old Judas Iscariot material and they'd be re-releasing it on vinyl. Uh, they said that all this was done with the approval of Akhenaten, uh, aka Andrew, the main guy behind Juice Iscariot. So, Juice Iscariot being one of my all-time favorite black metal bands, I was stoked and immediately started pre-ordering them. Uh, now this is before it was widely known that Blake Judd was behind the label. Now, Blake Judd never ripped me off back in the day because I didn't really care about his band like that. I liked him okay, but I wasn't an obsessive. Um, so sure, other people said that they were ripped off, but I was stupid enough and thought, well, maybe he's cleaned himself up and I, I shouldn't judge people. So I went ahead and I ordered more records even after finding out that Blake was behind the label and I just I just hoped for the best. So all in all, I ordered Leviathan's first sub-level of Suicide, Leviathan's Unfailing Fallen Tonight, Leviathan's Withered Upon Her Kingdom of Was, Judas Iscariot's Dethroned, Conquered, and Forgotten, Judas Iscariot's Of Great Eternity, Judas Iscariot's Distant and Solitary Night, and Judas Iscariot's Proclamation of Intolerance. I got the first record, uh, first sub-level of Suicide, but it was extremely late, uh, and it also came fucked up with splits on both sides. It also had some weird scuffs on the actual record itself, but they're not going to show up in this video, so I'm not going to bother trying to show that to you. The next thing I got was the Distant and Solitary Night record, which it came fucked up with this like little weird scuff shit here. Um, there's also some scuff marks on the back. And the record itself, again, has these little weird scuff marks. Um, so, I only got this record after a whole lot of fuckery. I bought this shit on May 29th. Uh, they sent an email on June 5th saying it was a bootleg and asked if people still want it. They said that they were tricked by the guy that they bought them from. Uh, on June 6th, I wrote back saying, yes, I do still want it. By June 21st, I had still not gotten it. Um, I emailed them that very same day, no response. Between June 23rd and July 17th, I sent them four more emails, a message on IG and a message on Twitter asking where my stuff is, no response. So I filed my claim, of course, within a day uh, after I filed the claim, I got an email saying that they'd shipped off the order and I got a very apologetic email from uh, the girlfriend of Blake Judd. What's interesting is I also got um, this, the Leviathan, Withered Upon, whatever, whatever, record at the same time. And you'll see it also has these weird scuffs on the cover. Um, the record itself also has these weird scuff marks on it. And I, even outside of that, this just to show how shitty quality this is. It doesn't even fucking fit in the sleeve, guys. So 
It's trash. Trash fucking work. Now, I'm sure all of you guys know the story of Distant Solitary Night that pertains to Essential Monarchs Media, but I'll run through it very, very quickly. Uh, they claim that they had heard from a guy with a stack of dead stock copies from Somber Records. They bought them and then listed them for sale. I knew it sounded like bullshit, but I didn't really care if it was a bootleg because Andrew's not really making money off these anymore anyway. Um, people bought them and then immediately noticed that the cover has the same white border as first sub-level of suicide okay the original does not have that white border on them by the way um but yeah then people started to notice that the matrix itself had like amm or something monuments on it which led people to think that it was actually pressed up by ascension monuments media uh so of course after that these dipshits started scraping and in some cases actually burning the matrix off of the records fucking hilarious this is where things got really weird so before i got my distance solitary night record i posted on facebook asking if anybody had gotten theirs on the same post i'd made a joke about how blake and his girlfriend were the same person like he was lying about the label being semi run by this other person in order to take heat off of him someone had told me that and i thought it was kind of funny it, i didn't really care either way well apparently he saw that post and then he started posting shit about me on some random ass dude's Instagram page, some guy I don't even follow, and I'm not gonna say his name or anything because he has nothing to do with this, but he was saying something about, you know, sorry to burst your bubble, but we're not the same person, and, you know, you keep talking shit, and, all, you know, you impatient people are ruining the good work I'm trying to do here, to which I responded, no, you're ruining what you're trying to do here because you're a fuck up. After that is when I got this hilarious message from bitch ass Blake in my IG DMs. I won't read the whole thing, but I'll give you a little bit of a taste. Dude, all you do is talk fucking shit about us. I don't take kindly, I think you meant kindly, uh, to being called a clown or a dipshit by some fucking stranger who's not got the first fucking clue what goes on in my daily life, nor do you run a label to the best of my knowledge, especially one that sold over 10,000 units in a 120 day period and has a whole three people working for it. Have you received your LP yet or your refund as I'm sure you open a dispute? If so, then please politely leave us the fuck alone. I'd rather send you every penny you've ever sent us back than ever make you feel like we need you or anyone fucking like you's money. I got enough self-respect not to tolerate or put up with such bullshit. You have no fucking clue how thick my fucking skin is these days, Mike. My coworkers may tolerate this kind of abuse, but I'll tell you directly to your face to go fuck yourself. And if I ever get the chance to meet ya face to face to say it, I can't wait all we've ever done with this company is try to release great music in high quality packages ha! for bands we love to essentially make people happy and people like you fucking ruin it think before you're so quick to judge a bunch of fellow metal enthusiasts it's fucking lame one of the funniest things is he's asking me if i've ever run a label as if that has anything to do with anything uh but i grew up in the diy punk scene so many of my closest friends as well as my best friend ran little small record labels uh so i know how this works and taking mass amounts of pre-orders that you're too fucking incompetent to fulfill is not the way to do it. The other thing that's funny to me is this dumb fuck is blaming me for the entire situation all based off of one Facebook post asking people if they got their record. You know, I'm not a celebrity by any means, but I have a decent amount of subs on YouTube. And if I wanted to get word out that Ascension Monuments Media was trash, I would have made a video then the way I'm doing now. But I didn't. You know, especially since there was someone who I think is a really good dude who was working directly with them at the time. Someone I won't bring into this, but it's someone that I wouldn't want to fuck over or shit on. So after the IG messages, I was done. I told that fucker to send all my money back if he wants to jump bad and run his mouth. Uh, then I get another Facebook message from the girlfriend apologizing for Blake being a dick. Now, I won't say her name because I'm not trying to get her harassed. I'm not in support of that. And she also asked that I not screenshot and post... Uh, her messages anywhere and I gave my word that I wouldn't so I'm not but I have them in case anyone tries to say that I'm making any of this up but she was always very very sweet very apologetic promised to send my remaining records out ASAP along with some freebies which I didn't ask for and didn't want you know I'm not about getting free shit from people um, we talked about this situation, we talked about punk rock, uh, we talked about them both getting clean from drugs and staying clean from drugs, which I congratulated them both on. Because even outside of all this fuckery, I do think that them getting clean is awesome. Uh, she also gave me some story about what happened with Nuclear War Now, something I don't even care about because it's none of my business. 
Uh, I don't deal in drama, man. I just wanted my fucking records. One thing to note in the message was she said she saw in my response to Blake on IG that both Distant and Solitary Night and Withered came fucked up, and she offered to replace the jackets. Jackets being plural. Now, remember, they claimed that Distance and Solitary Night was not a bootleg that they had done and that they were just sent the records. Well, if that's the case, then why would you have extra jackets that you can send me as a replacement? Maybe she misspoke and meant to say jacket singular, but we all know at this point that the Distance and Solitary Night record was a bootleg. There is some contention over whether or not uh, Ascension Monuments Media did the bootleg themselves, but personally, I believe 100% that they did. After that, she did send me um, Unfailing Fall into Not and Dethroned, Conquered, and Forgotten. Um, both of them have those weird scuffs on the vinyl. I don't know what's up with those scuffs. I'm guessing that they just went through a shitty pressing plant or they were stacking the records naked uh, before placing them in sleeves. So at this point, I know that these guys are scam artists and liars. But honestly, I just wanted my records that I paid for, I just wanted the headache to be done with. The two remaining orders that I had placed for uh, Of Great Eternity and Proclamations of Intolerance, they are both supposed to be out in September. Of course, I hadn't gotten them, so I hit up the girlfriend on October 3rd and asked about my orders, no response. I sent an email on October 9th, no response. Uh, she doesn't reply until the 11th on Facebook saying something about her messenger not working properly, but doesn't say shit about my order. So I reply the same day asking once again about my order. No response. I ask again on the fucking 17th. No response. I sent another email on the 22nd. No response. I asked again on Facebook on the 28th. No response. On the 28th, I also sent one final email saying I'm going to have to file a claim if you don't respond to me. Guess what? No response. So I filed my claim with PayPal and I also let Bandcamp know what was happening and within a week or so, I got my money back. Now, you may ask why I'm doing this. Well, during this whole debacle, I got quite a few messages from other people about Ascension Monuments Media. Some of them were people I'm not even friends with. Uh, I think they just did a Facebook search and they came across my post and they started messaging me asking for help. But what worried me was some of them were clearly non uh, English speaking people, or at least English was not their first language. So I felt like they may not really understand exactly what's been going on due to like whack ass translations or something. What I told all of them was to immediately file a claim. Same thing I wanted to tell you guys. And because I've been buying shit for years, I'm a bit familiar with how this process works. But what a lot of people don't know is you only have a certain window of time to file your claim before you just lose your money and you're fucked. So if you have not filed your claim, do it immediately. Stop this video and go do it. If you don't know how, just go to PayPal and file a dispute first. Outline everything in detail there. Then escalate it to a claim as soon as you can. In my experience, I think you can escalate it within 24 hours of filing the dispute. At this point, Bandcamp and PayPal are familiar with this situation with Ascension Monuments Media. So unless Blake and friends can provide them with a legit tracking number for your packages, which they can't because they haven't sent them, so you'll absolutely get your money back. But remember, you have to escalate it to a claim. Do not leave it as a dispute. And that's why I'm doing this, man. I want to help you guys. I don't care to besmirch or shame people who are current or ex-drug addicts. That's not my thing. You know, growing up in the punk scene, I've known many addicts. Uh, some made it through and got clean. Some, uh, unfortunately, aren't around anymore. Um, so it's not my pleasure to publicly make fun of people who could be struggling with substance abuse issues. This is about business. And the business of Ascension Monuments Media fucking sucks. Blake Judd, in terms of the interactions I've had with him, is a fucking dickhead. I will never give another dime of my money to his garbage ass, bootleg ass, big lots, family dollar ass, fucking crappy, shitty ass label, uh, which I think they're going the bankrupt route anyway right now, so it doesn't really matter. But I would also never buy another thing from his band. Even though I don't know any of the other guys in the band and I don't know how much they know about the situation or what level of involvement they've had in it, if any, I think that they're not involved at all, to be honest. And it sucks that they're getting caught up in this, but they should blame Blake, not us. Because 
I honestly wouldn't buy their record for a fucking dollar if it came with a free cup of soup and a beanie hat. Straight up. And I'm not the first to say this. This sentiment has been leveled across the board. And I'm not rallying you guys up to do the same thing. You guys do what you want. I don't give a fuck how you spend your money. So yeah, in closing, fuck Ascension Monuments Media as a staff, record label, and a motherfucking crew. Uh, I truly hope that this is the last time we have to see Blake Judd's fucking name attached to some type of scam. Uh, if he is on drugs again, I truly do hope that he gets clean and gets his shit together. Um, if he's not on drugs, then he's just a dipshit that doesn't know how to run a fucking label. And I hope he focuses on making music and leaves the part of the music industry that involves releasing albums and records the fuck alone. Forever. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, he can go fuck himself. And that's it. Um, yeah, if you've had an issue with these guys and you want to share your story, drop it down there. Um, if you don't really understand how the whole PayPal thing works, need a little bit of help, feel free to inbox me. I'll give you whatever information that I have. And um, that's it. Uh, as usual, thank you for living. Thank you for loving. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out, boy.